What's up guys, welcome to another video. This video we're gonna be taking a look at Hyperdrive's latest USB-C hub. Now this is a six in two USB-C hub. And if you're familiar with Hyperdrive's, they are one of the top of the line USB-C hubs on the market today for your MacBooks and MacBook Pros, okay? I can highly recommend these from using different versions of this. This latest one is called the Net. And again, it's a six and two. So we will take a look at it here. So there's the actual box that came in. So it's got gigabit ethernet, USB-C, 40 gigabits per second and 100 watt power through it. And then another USB-C that's five gigabits per second with a 60 watt power supply, HDMI, 4K Ultra HD through that port and two USB-A hubs that have five gigabits per second throughput. So, and again here it says two times user, uh, USB-C uh, power delivery with 100 watt and 60 watt. So that's uh, the six and two. And again, definitely a cool, cool hyperdrive. Let's just take a look at it, okay? So and again, let's open it up. There you see the box has pretty much same stuff, but it's a nice presentation. I do like the box. Even the back of the picture here, you can see all that stuff connected to it. So yeah. Now, one thing I really, really like is this faux leather carry case that it comes with. I really like this little carry case, so that's a nice touch that uh, Hyper threw in for that. So let's go ahead and pull out the net drive. You can see here. Now, the only caveat to this one is it, it does not have SD card slots, okay? So uh, you are losing the SD card slot in this version, but you know if you have you know, one of those smaller um, single SD card slots, you could do that. Or if you have something like uh, this little Kingston uh, drive here that you could put an SD card in, uh, you've got that option and use it as a USB-A. So whatever you want to, you know, do. You're, there's tons of different options out there for you. Anyway, so here is the hyperdrive. Nice little uh, branding there. The net. So it's got a double connector, so it fits flush very, very nicely against your MacBook Pro. Uh, on this side here. We mentioned the two power pass-throughs, you've got the USB-C hubs, one that is a 100 watt uh, 40 gig, the other is a 60 watt uh, 5 gigs per second. So be sure you use well, the correct USB-C hub here for the, you know, the use case that you're looking for. HDMI and then the two USB-As and then the Ethernet, which you're saying, wow, that's a small Ethernet jack. Well, this pulls out like so, and you can put an Ethernet cable in here and uh, get wired ethernet up to gigabit ethernet so definitely cool it does have a little LED function light on this end so you can tell uh, what's going on this here is black and plastic this is aluminum so this part here uh, where the snappable or uh, that is just plastic that kind of you know I kind of frown a little bit about that design but you know it's okay so anyway guys I'm gonna put this onto the MacBook Pro and give you a little quick look at it and see how it looks with some stuff plugged into it. So we'll be right back to take a last look at it. All right guys, welcome back. So we have this uh, hyperdrive net installed on the MacBook Pro. Simply sits again, just flush against the side here. Now the space gray, as you can see, matches the Apple space gray to a T. So it looks like just a growth, a part of the MacBook Pro, which just kind of needs to be there and looks good. So anyway, I have a few things loaded into this. Uh, as you can see, uh, I have a USB-A. Um, now this is an adapter, so you put a micro SD card into this, and you could use this as a uh, USB to micro SD card adapter, which uh, uh, actually has Type C also. But uh, so you can use this two different ways. And then I also have this uh, Type C to SD card adapter. And I also have one of my favorite little doohickeys here is an RJ45 uh, wired Ethernet cable that is retractable. And then certain things like this old Samsung, I think this is like a T1 or T2, I, I don't even remember, um, a 250 gig SSD drive that's got USB uh, 3.0, I believe, uh, hooked up to it. You can even plug that into this. You know, the, it's endless possibilities. And you can see here it is seeing uh, the SD card here 
with this adapter. It says no name, but if I click on it, um, you can see it's got video files in it. And I can just go ahead and expand that. And that's running off this SD card uh, that's hooked up to this hyperdrive. And again, I'm going through type C. So I really, on this one, didn't really need to, uh, you know, utilize this hyperdrive. Now, the, the, if I didn't want to use wireless, uh, say I needed to hook this together to another uh, device that had wired only, that's where this comes in handy. And I did plug this in. It plugs in and fits. Again, this is just a retractable Ethernet cable. So definitely recommend this. So let's go ahead and eject this drive. And show you what all I've got here. So let's pull that out. Now it's got a little light down here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn off this studio light here. There's a little glowing light here. So you can tell when it's doing data activity and stuff. And, and it's active and working. So that, that's a good thing. Turn that back on. So again, this little guy is a Type C, Type A, uh, USB A, and then there's a slot here for a SD card. So that's pretty kick butt. I don't know if you can see the slot, but it's just right in there. Micro SD card anyway. Again, let's push this down. That is where the RJ45 jack went into this. And let's go ahead, since I've ejected the SD card, pull this out there's the SD card and this is like a sand disk USB-C to SD card adapter so you could use that because again on this drive here you lose that SD card it doesn't have it so you're gonna want to have something like this to rock with it so and then again you can see here it fits very very tightly uh, against the MacBook the color scheme matches up really really good that's what it looks like it's beautiful design there's the RJ45 back here, so you can plug it in back that way. You can actually flip this over and use it on the other side. I've got two USB-C ports over there. So if you did want to flip it over backwards and use it over there, you could. You know, if you're a righty or a lefty, whichever works out best for you, but you could do that. So anyway, guys, that is the HyperDrive 6-in-2 Net USB-C Hub. I actually want to thank Leon at Hyper for hooking me up with this. Uh, and if Leon agrees... I will put his vlog link in the show notes if you want to check him out. He's just getting started. Um, so definitely uh, an up-and-coming YouTuber. So go ahead and support his channel as well as he starts to do tech reviews and stuff like that as well. So again, I want to say thanks to Leon and Hyper uh, for hooking me up and uh, working together with uh, him and Hyper and the show. So again, check the show notes. I have a link where you can pick this up, guys. Definitely worth it. I also believe you're going to be able to pick this up in quite a few retail stores, like the Best Buys of the world, the Micro Centers of the world, etc., uh, and go from there, much like you can do a lot of the other hyperdrives today. Again, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, and thanks for watching, and have a good one.